Hi, it's the X-Bass Guide again. This is uh, how to make weights for, uh, small weights for fishing Cinco's, uh, wacky rigged or Texas rigged. I use weight 80 to 90 percent of the time to get that lure down to where the fish are quickly so I can make more casts and put the lure in front of more fish that helps me catch more fish. You don't want to overpower it so a light weight is key. So what I do is I cut off the pinched end so you can see the hole. Then I turn the cutters around so the flat end faces towards the end. So now you have a piece of hollow core that is flat on both sides. Then I take the cutter and I cut on an angle to make kind of a conical shape. If you clip into the hole like I just did, cut the end off again, make it a little smaller. You're going to have a variety of sizes. So you just go around and you clip parts of it off until you make it conical. You want it conical. You don't. You want it to slip through the fish's lips when you set the hook, and not, you know, interfere with the hook set. That's why most worm hooks are conical. And so that's how you do it. And this is about between 132nd and 164th of an ounce. Uh, some are bigger. Some are smaller. Depends on how deep you're fishing. The deeper you fish, the more weight. The, uh, if you're fishing in current, you need some weight. Uh, I don't fish weightless very often, only if it's shallow and the fish want, really want that, then I'll go to that. So that's how you make some weights. You can use these for drop shots. I, I can use a pretty long weight for drop shot if I'm fishing on shore and I want to get out there where the fish are on a current break out in deeper water. Um, you just take pliers and mash it down and it'll pull off the rocks and you'll lose your rig, just your weight. You can rig another one up and you're back in action. So try that out. Let me know how you like it. Give me some comments. Uh, if you have anything you'd like to hear about, let me know. See you on YouTube, guys.